Hey guys, so today I'm showing you this. I'm bringing you this lavender pop of color for spring. Um, I've done this with a couple of different colors. I did blue, I did pink, and I did yellow. And today is lavender, so um, yeah, and I paired it with a beautiful light pink nude lip, which I, it's not nude, I'm just light pink <laughs> lip. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed <laughs> yeah, i really hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe before you leave and let's just get started so i'm first going to start off with my eyes and i'm going to use my profusion pigment base eyeshadow primer in the shade neutral and I'm just going to use that on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend that out. I'm going to take my um, Wet n Wild Brule eyeshadow, single eyeshadow and I'm going to use my Real Techniques shading brush and just set my inner corner to brow bone area with that just to make sure that we don't have any eyeshadow sticking on the brow bone. I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to apply that on my lid. The base for the beautiful lavender shadow. For shadow today, I'm going to be using this Cara Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. This is the You Had Me At Aloha palette. And I'm going to use the color Lavender Sky, which is this beautiful <laughs> lavender shade. And I'm going to use my Morphe M421 brush and just... Pack that down over top of that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Very beautiful. I love these like lavender <sighs> shades. I've always loved it, especially for the spring time. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Essential, Essential Crease Brush and that same shade <sighs> again and just apply that into my crease just to help make sure that just to help with blending and making everything look put to, more put together and that's literally it for the eyeshadow so now I'm going to move on to my face makeup and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water to help prime the skin this is going to really hydrate 
my face. I used to use this all the time. Do you guys remember? And I loved this, but I kind of stopped using it for some reason. And I used a lot of these products again, and now I'm like back in love with them and want to use them all the time. So yeah, I'm going to be using this to help prime my face and afterwards to set it. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer to smooth out my face. And fill in my pores. I absolutely love this primer. It makes my skin so smooth and my makeup doesn't look as smooth when I don't use this primer. I use the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. This is the hydrating one. They have a couple different ones now. I still have the very old original primer serum. But this one seems like it's the same one. But I just apply that all over my face. For foundation, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I have this one in Shell Ivory. It's a little bit dark, I feel, but after everything goes on, it kind of evens out and looks normal after the rest of my makeup so I'm just applying that to my face I used to absolutely love this foundation and use it all the time but I kind of stopped using it and now I'm back to loving it And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge to blend that all in. a lot of foundations so I barely need this but I'm using my e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer on my mostly my acne spots And then I'm going to use some underneath my eyes. And down my nose. Just the areas that you would typically highlight in. Just like that. And then I'm going to use the pointed side of my sponge to blend that out. And then I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have a brand new one here to use because I was running low on my other one. My absolute favorite powder in the world. I'm going to dip my sponge into the powder and apply that, press that down all over my face to help just to set it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my cheeks, um, but I'm also gonna highlight my under eyes a little bit more, so I'm gonna use my Stargazer White Pressed Powder. You can get this off of Amazon. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush and just use that underneath my eyes 
to help give a brighter look under there. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. And my Morphe JH02 brush and just bronze up my face. For blush, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream Truffle Palette. And I'm going to use this light pink shade. It's the perfect blush color, I feel like, with this eye look. And I'm going to use my Morphe JH04 brush. And just blush up my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to use this Icy White Highlighter. This is the, this is, um, Milan, it's a Milani Baked Highlighter in this shade Dulce Perla. And it's a very pretty highlighter. And I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones. Just highlight my face with that. I'm going to set my face, my face makeup with the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water again. Just to help take away any powderiness the makeup has. And then for my brows, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette in Neutral Brown. And I'm just taking this, my e.l.f. Eyebrow Duo Brush, and I'm just going to be filling them in with the powder. Set them with my Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of my eyes and I'm going to use the AOA Studio E134 brush, it's a pointed brush. And I'm going to use the shade Cotton Candy down here and this is a beautiful shimmery light color um, and it kind of matches and goes with the purple it's kind of purpley so I'm just going to apply that in my inner corner to highlight use my um, LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner in the shade lavender to highlight, highlight to um, in my inner corner to brighten up my inner corners, and it's just perfect. Inner corner, no, what am I talking about? To in my waterline to brighten them up, um, and it's just perfect with this look, and it's just beautiful, and it ties everything to it just ties the eyes together. And then I'm going to curl my lashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler and use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And then I'm going to use my Kiss So Wispy number 11 lashes and my, um, I'm going to apply those with my Kiss Lash Glue Liner in Black. I'm just going to do a thin line along my lash line just to pop on the lashes. Okay, so then for lips, I'm gonna use my NYX um, lip liner in the shade Pale Pink. And it's literally just that, it's the perfect light pink color. And I'm just going to use that as a lipstick all over 
my lips. And I love the way that that looks with the lavender eyes, the very light pink lipstick color. And then I'm going to top that off with the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in Milk It Pink, just to help add even more of a pink color and add a nice gloss to this. So that is the completed makeup look um, for spring. Pretty lavender eyes and a very light nude pink lip. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!